Hey guys, Mars Naked here, bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so today we're going to be taking a look at another one of the World Tournament Easy A's that came out on Global and see if he is as uh, held back as the other ones, shall we say. Because uh, we did the cooler one and the Super Trunks one. Um, Super Trunks actually was a little bit better than I was expecting. Uh, cooler, funnily enough, was almost like worse than I was expecting. Um, but we have this AGL Great Ape Kid Goku. So we have him level 10 links. Uh, I haven't done his hidden potential at all since his pre EZA, so could potentially change that if I will ever get any use from him, of course. Um, his super attack is raise defense one turn, supreme damage. At least he raises defense on super. And then he gets attack and defense 100%, additional one key up to three, and attack and defense 59 up to 159 at the start of each turn. Then he gets an additional attack and defense 59% when performing a super. He gets an additional attack 59% and attacks effective against all types when all allies attacking in the same turn are giant ape power. Um, and then, of course, he can transform into a giant ape. But it's like rare. I think it's like 15%. And, of course, it's completely random. So it's not something you can plan to use against specific stages of a boss, right? Because, obviously, when we're... Um, when we're taking into account giant forms when it comes to these difficult bosses you can use those abilities to counteract um like enemy supers and stuff like that but of course um you know you can't choose this right so you, you know orange piccolo you save it for that particularly difficult rotation we think okay i could be in trouble here but you use the orange piccolo transformation um you have no control over this this could happen on like the first turn essentially so Chance, giant form, and transformations are pretty annoying. Um, the other thing that really stands out about this guy, we're running him on the Path to Power Kid Goku team. He's got a couple of 200% leaders, but the funny thing is, none of his 200% leaders are on giant 8 power. So when it comes to that extra part of his passive, uh, that's the wrong Kid Goku, when it comes to the extra part of his passive, um, getting a full giant 8 power rotation is very difficult, especially on a team where he's getting a 200% leader skill. Now, you could put him on a team where he's getting a lower leader skill, and then obviously his overall performance is going to be less. Um, but then if you're running him on a team full of, like, Super Saiyan 4s and stuff like that, I mean, yeah, he does have Saiyan Raw, he has Kamehameha, but then you look at the rest of his links, he has Dragon Ball Saga links, and he's a Showering the Limit character. So, I feel like it's probably better to just run him on a good Dragon Ball Saga team and not get that full Giant 8 Power rotation buff. Because fortunately, it is only attack-based, right? 59% attack and then effect attacks effective against all types. If he was getting, like, a significant amount of defense on the um, having the giant 8 power rotation, then I think it would be really difficult to run him, like, without it, right? So he starts off, he's at 165k. Now, remember, he gets 59% on super. So we're looking at him going up to about 250. Then he has the 30%. Uh, super attack buff as well so he's only going to be at about 300k defense post super if he only gets one super attack um we did get the orbs for the path to power kid goku so we do have the uh, damage reduction but 5.8 for this in kid goku 6.1 on the additional i mean this is the thing right he's a dokon fest but this guy easy aid so long before this agl goku um and here he is dropping you know three five to six million attack stat supers and then this agl goku four mil now even with a giant eight power rotation he's getting an extra 59 percent. so at most that he might be getting to six mil with one super but that's when you're running a full giant eight power rotation which as we've already said very difficult to do if you're on a 200 percent lead anyway so you'd be sacrificing part of the leader skill buff in order to then get the full giant eight power rotation, which probably isn't going to work out particularly great anyway. So let's get... Uh, I might as well get Bulma floated off here. Actually, I need to float off the Kid Goku because the other one is um, got floated off on the previous turn. So I'll just make sure I get the support buff for Bulma. It doesn't really matter who's in what slot or anything on this turn because Cell is stunned, so. Go ahead and do this. But yeah, we get the Bulma buff to carry over to the next turn. But yeah, between Bulma and Kid Goku, they'll finish uh, 
finish off Cell here. Right. So now we've got that buff. We didn't get the 8 transformation. Um, so we get Showering the Limit here from uh, Grandpa Gohan. Of course, who provides support and has pretty decent stats and everything when you're on a... Uh, when there's a Kid Goku on the rotation. So grab this. So this, with the Bulma support and this uh, Grandpa Gohan support, he's starting off the turn on 220k. That's good for his on his on super buff. The fifty nine percent is multiplicative, I believe. So that means he's getting about what a hundred, hundred and ten ish, maybe close to one hundred and twenty on super from his passive. So that puts him close to three fifty, over three fifty when we take into account the actual raised defense for one turn on his super attack. But again, like that's like best case scenario with him only getting one super. He's at like three hundred fifty k defense, which. I mean, even on global, this is the problem with these EZAs, and I said the same thing with Cooler, uh, is that he's releasing now, and the hardest events on global are, are still, you know, already quite old at this point, have been around for a little while. He's getting his EZA now, but he's already at the point, like, he still can't tank normals from, like, all the bosses. Like, he won't tank normals from um, Fusion Zamasu, physical Fusion Zamasu, especially post-Super. Um... Which is not really ideal. It's like Easy A's coming out and the character not being good in like the literal meta that they've released in is really, really bad. Um, and it's why I don't, I just don't understand. We talked about it in the cooler like video yesterday, but I genuinely don't understand what their thought process is behind designing the World Tournament Easy A's because these cards are i know they're free to play cards i guess that's why i guess that's the main reason that they don't want to make them too good i guess because in the world tournament where they get their easy a you get fr extra free copies of them by completing the missions although saying that you don't for the dragon ball saga card do you because every world tournament where we've gotten these easy a's the three that are actual like world tournament reward cards you get them for doing the missions but you don't get any extra copies of the dragon ball saga card that's getting an easy a so the only way to get this unit this goku is to get him from that dragon ball saga ticket banner which historically had terrible rates they improved it a little while ago so you may have had more chance to actually get him but there's still i would imagine a lot of people gonna just not have him so like, why restrict his easy A and make him so mid? I don't understand. Um, all right, well, there's no attack in slot one, so might as well just put you here. Um, like, if we get a new Kid Goku, I was talking about this a little bit before we started the recording, but if we got a new Kid Goku that had the uh, punch against Demon King Piccolo, so he's on Giant 8 power, because that's the only reason why this Int Kid Goku's on Giant 8 power, but we don't get the buff because we have to have a full rotation. Um... 5.8 so yeah we already saw he's already peaked because remember he had to look that first turn he was going to have lower stats because he gets that little bit of extra stat boost at the start of the turn but like yeah he's not exactly in a uh, a good position is he even in the current standing which like I say is just baffling like I don't understand why why would you release an easy A and the meta that they've released in they're not good they're already not good so for Global, we've got the Movie Bosses 2 Red Zone will be coming out with the Harudagan and uh, Super Sentry Goku Jewel Dogon Fest. Um, and I don't know if like the easiest stage of that is probably not as hard as like Fusions and Masu. Um, but like by the time you start getting to the end, you get Harudagan, then we get into the anniversary and we get God, uh, we get Beerus and uh, Golden Freezer. Then we start getting the actual like difficult anniversary content as well. Like you're not going to use this Goku. I mean, let's be honest, Dragon Ball Saga as a team is pretty aged out at this point. Like, physical path to power... Oof. Physical path to power Kid Goku is pretty aged out at this point, to be fair. Um, right, you can be stunned. So if we do... If we do this... I guess the guaranteed stun for you. You don't get any extra links from Palmer, do you? So... So we might as well put you in slot one, because he's stunned now. So if we do that, do that, then we can do this. This obviously gives uh, Goku the buff, an extra buff as well, because not only are we getting the orbs, but remember that Bulma's active skill 
uh, is also giving all allies key 7, attack and defense 17%. So it's not a huge amount, but it is multiplicative, so that will help as well. So what's the highest we've seen him at? Like 5 point something? So on this turn, he just gets to 6 mil. So not the craziest. And then, of course, there's Kid Goku on 12 million. So... Yeah, I mean, is if, like I say, these guys, World Tournament cards, they're free-to-play units. If we were expecting them to be as good as Dokkan Fest exclusive EZAs, that would probably be a mistake. But at the same time, this Kid Goku, the Int 1 EZA, came out, like, how long ago? Um, so, you know, it would be nice if uh, these units were at least somewhat meta-relevant. Someone made a comment, in fact, on that cooler video, which I think is pretty... Uh, it does pretty much sum up what a lot of people think about these World Tournament EZAs. Uh, on the Cooler Showcase, somebody left the comment that was basically like, this is a perfect example of why the World Tournament isn't worth the grind, right? Now, obviously, there's a lot of other rewards as well. But if you're trying to finish in the higher placements overall so that you can get those extra medals and actually do all of the EZAs, like, what's, what, what's the point? <laughs> Like, I have enough medals. I'm going to save some of them, I think, so we can do earlier showcases for the ones that are easy a with the next World Tournament. But I have enough medals to do even the couple of World Tournament units that I missed, like the STR Kid Goku and the STR Z Sword Gohan. But, like, both... I mean, the Z, Z Sword Gohan specifically, he's terrible. Like, what a waste of medals to even bother doing his easy a Like, one day I will do it for the sake of the collection, right? But, like, yeah, what a waste of medals. Um... Yeah, I've got the JP Dokon. JP Dokon uh, teaser should be up. So we'll. Uh... Wow, Kid Goku actually failing to take him out. Alright, well, let's end this by putting our boy in slot one with his 200k start of turn defense. Because you know that's going to go super well. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of AGL, Great Ape Kid Goku, down below in the comment section. Certainly nothing special. 232k. I mean, he's not a slot 1 unit, so you're not putting him in slot 1 anyway. But his attack stat on this turn with support, 523. If he's got a full giant 8 power ally rotation, then some of these better turns that we've seen would be a little bit higher. But that's, that's it. Still nothing particularly impressive, which... It's just disappointing, which unfortunately, I hate to say, that is a word that pretty much just sums up the World Tournament Easy A's in general, right? Disappointing. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think of AGL Kid Goku down below. I genuinely wouldn't be surprised if there's people watching this video who don't even have a single copy of this unit. Um, so if you get, you know, your World Tournament Easy A medals, save them. We've got the AGL Super Saiyan Gohan coming up. We've got High School Gohan coming up after him. But, yeah, definitely not worth it. See if he has a decent sticker. At least AGL Cooler had a decent sticker. But, yeah, it's not terrible. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.